tell me why the sky's blue Tell me why this money is green Now Lord please, tell me why I do these things To make T die and let me They kick me out of church Cause I just don't listen Always fall asleep when the preacher is preaching Not my fault, I do love God But on Saturday nights I be all up on Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen And welcome to another episode of Why Who's Podcast Your number one podcast That comes up with any kind of talk In any kind of month And I'm your host Puni Moore And sitting right next to me Is the lovely, beautiful Ari Hi. Uh, Ari, I just want you to know this is not only just a live podcast on uh, that you know you can see. This is also to podcast listeners. You ever done a podcast before, Ari? No. But well, welcome to the podcast of Why Oops. I'm very honored to be here today. Yeah. yeah. So Ari, if you happen to enjoy our content, hit that like button and subscribe. It makes me happy to create more content for y'all. You know, so we appreciate y'all for tuning in. And also to our listeners, you know, we thank you for always tuning in to the Why Who's Podcast. Greatly appreciate your support. You know what I'm saying? And we got an interesting conversation today. Today, we are going to go ahead and talk about, you know, since Ari is only what? Ari, you what? 15, 16? How old are you? 15. So Ari is in that generation. You are the what? The Generation X? Generation. What's your millennials? Gen Z. Gen Z's. Man, I'm excited to talk to a Gen Z. For me being the, what do you think I am? Generation, I'm like the Generation Z X, maybe. I don't know. There you go. That's how old I am. <laughs> and if you're new to the Why Ooze channel, man, thank you for tuning in. If this is your first time, this podcast, we talk about everything and everything. You know what I'm saying? It depends on who the host or who is on, uh, you know, on the panel. That's where we're gonna steer. You know what I'm saying? And today we are Ari. Ari, how you uh, spell your name? A R I I, very simple. A R I I, A to the R to the I I. Yeah. Okay, what does that stand for, Ari? It's my stage name, you know, undercover and everything. Undercover and stage name. Okay, there yeah. you go, man. All right, well, you know, that's what we're gonna talk about. Me and Ari are gonna talk about the difference of generation. You know, father and son, or father and daughter. Would you rather call, have me call you daughter or son? Son. Still son. Boy. Okay, there you go. But stay tuned, man. Why, oos? Why, 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 oos? Why, oos? <laughs> For my listener, this is my 15 year old son, my middle child. I don't know about y'all, but you know how they say the problem child tends to be the middle child? That's probably most likely the case. You know what I'm saying? But. Anyways, I'm happy to have my son on, on the platform. And we're going to have a discussion, Ari. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why the name Ari? Where does that originate from? What 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 made you, you know, decide on Ari? Why couldn't it be like uh, Medusa or yeah. Sabrina or Lakrifa? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, what, what what's, what's so good about Ari? I mean, you know, if everything has meaning. It's a very common name. And one day, me and my oldest mom, we were sitting in the living room in Wisconsin, and we were coming up a stage name for me. And she said, "Why not just call you Ari?" So from there on, I just been carrying on that name. Oh, the name Ari. So you said bonus mom. What do you mean by that? Like a stepmother. I don't call her stepmother. I call her a bonus mom. But at times, I call her mom. Okay. Okay. There you have it, y'all. Bonus mom. The new word of stepmom. Okay, that's what's up, man. And we're gonna jump right to it, Ari. Uh, since you're in high school, you're what a junior or sophomore? I'm a sophomore. Well, what I want to get the listeners to, to uh, stay in tune is uh, is the comparison, because obviously, I'm an '80s baby, you know, mm. and Ari is a 2000 baby. So you're in that era of uh, right now, the now, right, the present. Okay. You know, so let's talk about your high school. Uh, we'll, we'll do some comparison. Like, what's going on right now and how we looked at it back then, okay? So let's first start off with uh, academics, you know, the school part. Yeah. How does it work in, in a high school? Because uh, when I was growing up, we had six periods. And then, you know, you had your major, what do you call those? You know, your English, your math, the base, the, 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 gen, the general... What do they call that? 
subjects. Subjects, right. And then you had the elective, which was, of course, you know, baking, home ec, uh, PE. Is that still going on uh, nowadays, you know? Yeah, but they have very different names for it now. They call it um, food science for home economics. And PE is now a required class for some states, some schools. Oh, damn, talk heavy. So you say some states, some school, because to the listeners, Ari here tends is a military brat. You know what I'm saying? So he, he's been around the world, baby, just like uh, Puni Moa. So anyway, so you said some states. So some states has a um, yeah. requirement. PE is a requirement. Yeah, depends on what their graduation requirements are or what school you go to. For the school I go to, you need to take at least four PE classes to graduate. What? Four PE classes to graduate. Wow. There's different types of PE classes, though. It's not just like one basic class. There's like a train and fitness. I think it's like a weights program, too. And, you know, the basic PE class where guys just run around and play sports. Interesting. There's many things to choose from. Well, I honestly can't tell you if I needed, maybe I did. I think it does make sense. I think any elective class you did have to pass. It was pass. It's, uh, I mean, it makes sense. Part of yeah. your passing grade. So besides that part, you know, uh, physical, what is it like now? I mean, you know, um, I, I say that at the same time, I have to be mindful because you guys are in the era of where uh, the COVID hit. So this is after COVID. Right. So, I mean, you know, a lot of them are taking classes before that. We were having what uh, you were taking classes at home at a time. Yeah, right. Online. online and stuff. Is that still going on? Well, there's an option for kids who can't really do well in actual school. So they do online school instead where they take all the courses that they would have in a regular school and take it online at their house, of course. So, so you talking about like special ed or no, or just any student? They just have to apply for it with their counselor, and they can talk it out, and then you know. Okay, so okay, that's what it is. I mean, because back then we never had no online courses. You know, uh, that was that was not even we didn't even see that coming. To be honest with you, at that time, my time. Uh, we were just learning about uh, emails, mm. how to set up email. Uh, this is before Gmail. I'm talking about Yahoo and AOL.com. You know, that those were the emails. So we were being taught how to sign up for an email and how to send email. And then what is Internet Explorer? Nowadays, you guys have different kind of browsers, Firefox, Google, Chrome, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what? So many. There's so many different ones. And um, the change of technology, you know? But, you know, you have any uh, anything else you want to add on to that part when it comes to education? Back what in it, your days, did you guys use, like, books and carry around a lot of stuff? Oh, yes. We had, uh, everybody used to have, like, big old backpacks. Uh, the study books were really heavy. Yes. I mean, I think everybody in high school was able to, uh, I want to say everybody was almost somewhat fit because of the so many the, the books that you had to haul, you know. Yeah. So I can only imagine for those who joined the military, because I personally haven't joined the military, but I can imagine that for those who joined the military had no problems walking around with big old freaking heavy stuff in their backpacks because it was all textbooks. You're talking about at least what seven, six sometimes textbooks, yeah. right? Not including your uh, notebooks, you know? So all that, yes, why? What about you guys? You guys have that? No, actually. We have either, well, if they give us school devices like a laptop or an iPad for us to use to do all our work on, mm -hmm. researches, resources, we can even send emails from there to our teachers. But there are some exceptions where they do give us a book, but we do still use notebooks. So you guys use notebooks, but you guys are mainly spending more time on uh, typing stuff up on uh, Microsoft yeah. Word? Like a laptop. For my school, we do. Man, that's crazy, yo. We use a Chromebook. 
where we do all our work from there, from math to English to a lot of things. So how would you say your uh, speed when it comes to uh, typing per minute, type per minute? I think I'm pretty... Have you guys uh, had any kind of, uh, you know, uh, class chat or, or testings when it comes to that, you know, type per minute? Well, the thing I can think of is back in elementary, they would give us, uh, we would go to the computer lab and we would practice typing on the main four keys. But high school, it, there's no classes where you, like, well, obviously what I'm talking about is typewriters. Because mm -hmm. it was typewriters back then, you know, even in the late 90s, mm -hmm. it was typewriters learning how to type. Because that will transition to computers. But do you guys, my question is, did you, so do you, you know how to just uh, type? Yeah. On a keyboard, because uh, you'll be surprised. That's like, a, that's something that has to be taught in our time. It wasn't something that was natural because obviously none of us had keyboards, always had keyboards, which is, I can imagine all you. So are you saying that all your, or majority of the, the students that you went to school with, you at least went is that everybody did not, I'm assuming they probably didn't have any problems with the typing stuff, right? Like mm -hmm. looking off the sheet and just typing, or, uh, typing away. It's a daily thing, so, you know, wow. we use it in our everyday things. Damn, that's a unique thing, you know that? Yeah, we that copy, really is. We copy each other's papers some days, or we're just typing onto you know, a Google Doc, what our teacher wants us to do. Or when we type out a math equation for geometry, algebra, or stuff like that. So, man, so, so when you say cheating, because we have a different way of cheating. We normally would go to what we call nerds which is basically the smart ones in the class. And there nothing, there's nothing against what I'm just saying. That's just why I just want to say that's who we were looking to at that time. Uh, and we'd just be like, hey, uh, what, what you got there? And they would normally slip us their paper and then we would just kind of copy off of what they have, then give it back, you know? Well, what about you guys? How do you guys cheat? So advice? we do still kind of do that. We go to the smart people that we know are probably going to pass. Mm -hmm. But we also... But thanks to the internet and Google, the and answers our, are provided. And our phones, there. When you're like on an app, there will be an advertisement for some type of um, cheating app where it will show you all the answers. Oh, okay. Like there's a thing called Photo Map that is really helpful. What is it called? Photo Map. Damn. The, now that's what we call snitching, or you telling the world of what you guys are hidden secrets. Some high school students won't appreciate you talking about that, Ari. I mean, like, there's no high school students on here. But you, uh, so you trying to say that this podcast is going to go worldwide? You tripping? This is this podcast is aired worldwide. You'll be surprised by the time you go back to school. Your student, your your. Your fellow uh, students be like, hey, Ari, why were you, uh, you know, letting the whole world know? Now now the teacher's on us, you know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful what you say. I'm just trying to help you save yourself from being a snitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, sometimes the teachers do see us using our phones. Mm -hmm. So if you did Some get caught... Some of them have an issue, while the other ones do not actually. It's very surprising. You know what I call that? I call that chat GPT. You ever heard of that? Oh yeah, we have that too. We use that. Okay, so you, I, I, that's that was my next question. How are you guys implementing ChatGPT? Well, my mm -hmm. friend does that, but me personally, I like to use my own personal thoughts and mind to it to type and uh, to write. So, so when you use your own personal thoughts, that sounds like to me that you be getting a lot of C's and F off of that when you use your own personal thoughts. But if you use ChatGPT. You probably would have got some A's, right? It's plagiarism. I don't like plagiarism. Oh, damn. Damn. What is this world got into? Plagiarism. There you heard it, y'all. So what is plagiarism? Now, why don't you spell that since uh, you want to be a smart ass? I can't, but... Um, <laughs> plagiarism is where you copy someone else's words or words uh -huh. and you use it as your own. Damn. And then giving credits to the person who originally did it. Oh, talk heavy. Well, you know what, uh, Ari? I'm going to tell you right now, from an OG to a younger, you know, it's okay if, as long as you don't get caught. You know what I'm saying? You can go ahead and plagiarize all the way you can. You know, that's why they call it plagiarism. Catch me if you can. You know what I mean? Just kidding, y'all. I'm just joking. You know, but not really. But anyways, so talked about uh, cheating. So what if you get caught? They'll Have you guys got us, caught? They'll just tell us to put our phones down. They won't deduct it off your, your uh, no, grades? No. As many times as my friends and I have been caught using our phones, it's always the same thing as just put your phone up. 
But one major thing is we cannot use our phone on a test or quiz or we will be detected for school. Okay. Do you have any questions about, you know, dad or of his time in high school that you're curious about? No, I just know that my generation is more ahead of ours. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. What do you mean by that? You mean technology, dad. Technology. Oh, but there you go. I was about to say, like, ahead of us. Hello, we're the ones that created all this technology. So you should say yeah, thank you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was it was your dad's mm -hmm. imagination. And it's a reason why. In my perspective, I'd rather be in, like, an AP school than what we have now. Because looking at the pictures and videos of these old day schools, I'd rather go there than mm. having to deal with this new stuff. You poor children. So you, what you're saying is that you would... You would love to experience what we experienced because we yes, didn't have without technology. Without technology, right? I believe that technology also ruins some people's lives. So no you say people. say that again. You believe that technology also can ruin some people's lives? What you mean? You mean like internet lives or social media? Mm -hmm. Because if you get too attached to it, it can really damage you and separate you from your family. Now, are you just saying that off of the script, or are you just saying that from experience? From experience. So what happened? Can you tell the viewers a little bit more into detail what happened? Because, you know, the the Ari that I remember from last year's summer, you know what I'm saying, was uh was always on her phone. I cannot cannot live without her phone. Am I right? So I got in trouble earlier. I got my phone taken earlier in the year. Mm hmm So you saw the discipline there it was what? And then like. Why, why, why don't you share to the viewers? Would you like to share with the viewers why Ari got in trouble? What, what were you doing? No, that's my own personal <laughs> That's your own personal thing. Yeah, huh? I love that you Oh, okay. That's that's what you call that. That's your right as a human being. Okay, carry on. <laughs> but when I got in trouble, my phone was gone for a few days. Okay, not yeah, a few days. Now, not, come on now, too. Let me just clear the picture out to the listeners. Ari was in trouble, was grounded for months, not weeks. For months. Yes, yes. So are we experiencing a life without a cell phone? Last year was months. This year is like about two months or one month. Out. See, look at that. But you sound like a prisoner who was able to count their time. So the time that you put in without yeah. a cell phone was but looking two at months. It, though, if you okay. look back, if you take a step back and you look at it and you realize what you did was wrong and what you realize that how like the social media kind of affected you or influenced you, you can just take a look back and change yourself. That's what I'm doing right now. Cause like I'd always be on my phone last summer or in December, mm -hmm. and I never really spent the time with my dad like I'm doing right oh, now. Oh, talk heavy. Yes, you talk. You speaking life right now. Go ahead, carry on. And without a phone, I have found interested in the books. Mm, that's something, a good education. Something I thought I would never have, but turns out I am really interested in books. Now. Okay, so what are some of the books that you're reading? I like to read romance novels, drama novels, and sometimes I like, I like to read true stories of occurring or what or like past events, you know, like a biography. So what from reading books? Now that you've read books, because you you start to sound, and I'm gonna let the listener know. My son has uh, definitely uh, matured. Sounds more mature of of what he was last year, you know. And for the listeners, my son Ari here is only on a visitation, you know. So he's he sp we spend time during summertime we have each other, and then holidays we split with his mom. So uh, for you reading books, and I can tell by your your character characteristics. It definitely helped. Okay. Um, you not having a phone made you read books, made you start to realize that there's more to life than uh, technology, right? No phone. There's like, this is not all you need. This is good, but you need to sometimes take a break from it. And it also opens up your vocabulary. Mm, okay, opens up your vocabulary. Books have different words or new words that you never knew existed. So when I first started reading books, there was all these words that I never knew. But the more I kept reading it, the more I got used to reading those same words over and over again. Like what's some of the what's some of the words that you enjoy that you learned from a book that you implemented in life? Honestly, I can't even remember. 
I don't want to respond to them. Mm. There's what, too many to count because like I said, I finished 12 books. What about the word nostalgic? No, that one, still kind of confused on that one a little bit. Nostalgic? Yeah. Nostalgic is, uh, why don't you look it up? Google the word nostalgic. Why are you looking that up? I kind of under, have the understanding of it. Basically, I want to say it's reminiscing about the past, living them good old days, but you know, I could be wrong. Nostalgic. Characterized by or exhibiting feelings of nostalgia. What's nostalgia? I think nostalgia is like a feeling of someone, but Google or Safari said it's like a feeling of sadness or grief. Nostalgia is saying it's a, it's a feeling of, uh, of uh, what? Grief. grief or sadness? Yeah. Mm, interesting. Sometimes Google is inaccurate at times. Oh, wow. There you go. Well, let's test it out this way. Hey, Siri. Hmm? Define nostalgia, a sentimental longing or wistful effect. There you go. A sentimental longing or wistful effect for the past. So it's a feeling. It's an action. It's an effort. All I want to say is stay positive. You know what I'm saying? Have an open mind. Know that education, it does help, y'all. You know, it's not always for everybody. But for those that matter and care about education, stay in class. Don't be like Ari here, get caught up in smoking, then you realize that it's not even a good thing. Ari, will you think you are you still smoking or do you feel like you 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 you're set free from that? We passed that. I'm doing better for myself in school. Well, only time will tell. We don't even know if that's the truth or not. You know what I'm saying? You're only a sophomore, buddy. We'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> only time will tell. Bye. That's our time, folks, when it comes to high school from the past and the present. And before I let you guys go, man, Christmas is around the corner. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to wish everybody out there. Uh, I don't know when this episode is going to be aired. It might be aired after Christmas. So if it is, happy belated Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hope you had a great time. But if it is on Christmas Day or before Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. You know what I'm saying? You want to say something, Ari? Stay close to God. Stay close to God. Hey, what about what, what you got on your head? Bonnet. Bonnet. You, you want to school a little bit into the camera? There you go. So yeah. you want to tell the listeners that can see you, like what? What? What is that? Is that the deep style? What's going on with that swag? Yeah. This, it, is that just Ari's kind of swag? This or? is just to protect your hair at night or during the day. Whenever you don't feel like doing it, I go to I go to school wearing this. I walk around in public wearing it. Ew! I mean, you show and you sweating and all that stuff. So you might have like some. Um... I wash it. Mm. And I have different bonnets besides this. One. Okay. There's no particular reason why you have the bonnet on. No. That's just not a style or anything like that. And shout out to Zalia, Zalia, right? You know, that's the shades that I got from my sis. You know, my sis Ani. You know, they're looking out for the shades. As you can see, Bonnie uh, rocking it. And that's from, what's your name? Zalia. Sorry if I butcher your name, Zalia. Or Tainan Melody. I'm still waiting for my order, by the way. <laughs> but anyways, man. The song of the day. You know, it's a song right here that I'm about to play. I want y'all to enjoy it. This is my gift to y'all. This song is called uh, Baby Keep Your Head Up. And it's just a song that was written from uh, my man uh, Ruckus, also known as Ben Jeezy. I uh, written for myself, Ani, and my man uh, True Lies. This is our family royalty back then, you know what I'm saying? But I want to bring this song out because I feel a little like this song is popping. And that's one of our tracks that we'll be launching, that we'll be playing. And I hope you all like it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Mac, Again, I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Lady Ali, True Lies Rapping, Fam Live Works Entertainment, Killing Industry.
No matter whatever comes our way Sun's almost brighter as the rainy day Baby, keep your head up out your path Say it I do till the day we die No matter whatever comes our way Sun's almost brighter as the rainy day Yeah, there's so much drama in this love life game Always reaching out for something not in your way Ghetto love girl can't afford no rain We both said that too, so what is that pain? Haters, they gon' talk regardless what we do. But we gon' shine them off as long as we stay true, true. Haters, they gon' talk regardless what we do. But we gon' shine them off as long as we stay true. Yeah, back to me and you, baby, ain't no thing. Gotta let the world know you're my queen. Keep it all side when I make it in this game. Rollin' all clubs in an all white ring. High suck your wrist, you can show your friends. And I hope y'all enjoyed this. If y'all enjoyed this content, leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe, man. It just motivates me to create more content for you, my listeners. Have a good one. Merry Christmas. Say I do to the day we die